All right, guys, welcome to the PPM podcast, proper P management. As you can see on your screen, or if you can't see on your screen, you see the title of the podcast. You see something that's telling you what the P stands for. It's for men and women. It's a gift game for men and women. Um, welcome to the podcast. Um, I had to break this video down. Now, what I've been told is that um, from people who definitely support the, um, the show is that they rather me do it sometimes and then not do it at all. I was actually contemplating um, just totally canceling the show because um, it just I haven't been able to give it the time and effort that I like to give it. I used to do the video and like, I used to do it like a lot. And I even say, OK, I can't I can't do the video. Let me at least do the audio. And then after that, I, was like, All right, I haven't been keeping up with the audio. I, I got to just put a complete stop to it. But I've been getting messages. I get sent content. Um, I was sent this. And he's like, yo, can you please just break this down? Um, this is important. So I saw it. I'm like, yes, I am definitely going to break this down because it's extremely important. What I'm going to do is I'm going to break down each piece of it because um, it's, it's, a, it's a minute and 45 seconds, but it's pieces of it that needs to be broken down. That's the important part of it um, is breaking down those pieces. So I'm going to do that. Um, let me go ahead and let's just get started, man. Hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on. My fault. Already messing up. See, I'm already rusty. Let's go ahead and get it started. And the truth about it is, y'all, I'm hurting y'all because I want to be love. I want marriage. You know, a lot of us get on here, we act tough, and we be like, I don't want a man. I don't need a man, but I want help. That part is key. I hate that. I don't like showing her in this condition. Like, you know what I mean? Because I've seen her makeup. You know, she's not an ugly girl. I've seen her makeup and everything when she, you know, she done up. But she decided to post this video, so this is the video I'm going to use. That part is key. She say a lot of us get online and say we don't want a man, we don't need a man, but I really do want help. Because what's happening is women are starting to realize once they hit them 30s that when you 20-something and fine and got an attitude, men, you know, we kind of excuse that. We're like, all right, yo, she young. But when you hit 30, we're like, you're 30-something years old. You got all this damn baggage. Nine times out of ten, you probably got a kid or two lopping around this motherfucker. And you got a bad attitude? Why don't I just go get somebody who's 10 years younger? You know, if you're 35, let me go get the 25-year-old without the kid, without half the baggage, in the same attitude. You know what I'm saying? So I got less to deal with. And something, uh, you know what I mean? Like, it's less to deal with and something younger, something probably tighter. Because, I, I, like, I hate how women like to use exceptions as the general rule. And that's not the case. And I'm going to talk about how men do it in another podcast. But women love to use exceptions as the general rule. Oh, this girl looks great at 40, so I can too. You can, but will you? Let's look at all the other motherfuckers at 40. How do all, what does the average 40-year-old looks like? What does the average 35-year-old look like? Are they all tighter, finer, less of baggage, less attitude than the 25-year-old? No. Now, when it comes to them younger ones, they have an entitlement piece to it that is honestly ain't worth it. So we, we are told, oh my God, I'm going to have to do a whole joint about that one. The entitlement piece based on age, it's, it's crazy. But I want to talk about this video. So, yes, she's tired. Because work is whooping her ass. As you see, she got a headset on. She's probably at work. And she realizing halfway through her shift that she fucked up some good men that would have eased this burden from her. And she wouldn't be looking like this with that goddamn headset on. And it looked like a white refrigerator behind her. Yeah, I know what's her, what's her name said, Nene. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, yeah, she she's probably like, yo, work is whooping my ass. And I done ran off all the good men. But let's let's listen again. Let's keep, Let's continue. I want to be loved. I want somebody to love me. I want somebody I can be vulnerable with. The problem is, and I'm not crying y'all because I'm sad. I'm crying y'all because it's like a release right now. But the problem for me, y'all, is that all the relationships that I had with men were not about love. It was about survival for me. I know. Wee! Oh, wee! She said all the relationships I had with men were not about love. It was about survival for me. Men sense that. Men know that. They feel that. They just excuse it to see if you're going to change. And when they realize you don't, they're done. 
Men know, ladies. So you gotta, y'all gotta stop thinking y'all can finesse us. Men that get women, men that date around, men that has experience can sense that. And the more experience they have, the earlier they sense it. A lot of times they won't even let you in the door without running you through the, a, a little a little gauntlet. You know what I mean? I know people like to say, you shouldn't test people. You should just see who they are. No, that is the dumbest shit in the world. You should test people. You should see exactly where they stand and find out where it's going. You should, if you see these certain trends, like, because a lot of women don't understand that a lot of them have the same characteristics. So if you see repeated characteristics in multiple girls, so let's say you had a girl that just, run, that just ran you dry, used all your money, manipulated you, because men get manipulated too, niggas love to, niggas love to say, you know, I, I, I'm too player for that, I'm too, no, it happens to the best of us. So let's say you went into a situation with a girl you thought you cared about, or you, you cared about, you thought she cared about you, she did, but only for her survival, not for love. See, the problem is men confuse those two. Men confuse a woman fighting for her survival will show you flashes, just flashes of better love than a woman who loves you. So you get confused thinking, oh, this girl that loved me but didn't need me, she kind of had this, this demeanor of I don't need you, but I love you. This girl that needs me for her survival, she's doing everything she can to keep me around and even excusing my fuck shit. She's ignoring my flags. She's making sure she presents herself in the best light possible. But at the end of the day, the moment I cannot help her survive, she's going to show me who she is. So that's when the switch up happens. When men go, because men financially, we are up and down. It is peaks and hills. It is peaks and hills. And women love catching us on that peak. They love catching us on that peak. When it's time to slide down that hill, that's when the issues come in. A woman that loves you will weather the storm down the hill and help you get back up to the top. A woman that is there for survival will leave you on a slide down the hill and don't let you hit rock bottom because she's going to kick your ass and make you understand that she'll never be with a motherfucker like you. Easily. So you got to be able to recognize it. And unfortunately, most guys do not recognize it until they hit that slide and they realize this bitch ain't never give a fuck about me. She only cared about her survival. Let's play the video. How to fuck. I know how to cook. I know how to clean. I know how to seduce a man. I do not know how to love a man. And then to have a son because of those choices that I was making, y'all. And I got pregnant really, really fast. I got pregnant within 90 days of normal. Got pregnant within 90 days. Because she says she knows how to show wifey characteristics based on her survival. Now, is it wrong <laughs> to want to, to, to want to survive in this cold, brutal world? Look at her, y'all. She is in tears. She looks stressed. Look at them stress lines in her forehead, them stress lines in the cheeks, under the eyes, got bags in them. She is stressed. She is tired. So, yes, she should want to hitch herself to a man that's going to be her best survival, but it needs to be rooted in love and then the logic kicks in. So how it works is a lot of guys like, man, I only want a girl that love me. You only want a girl that love you so you can be a bum. You niggas want girls that love you so you can, you bum niggas want girls to only love you so you can continue to be a bum. But when a girl requires you to not be a bum, you think she don't love you. Here's the difference between the two. A girl that loves you, like I said, she's going to weather the storm of the ups and downs. She understands the ups and downs. She's not going to get mad at the downs, but she is going to expect you to get the fuck back up. The problem is you dudes get down and you stay there and you think a woman, now here's where survival kicks in at, you think a woman is supposed to die with you because your ass is lazy. No, it don't work that way. There are ups and downs. Women that love you weather you with the ups and downs. They go with you. They're like, look, I know it's going to be back up. I got faith for him here. Let me help. Let me make sure what I need to do to make sure I help him get back up because he is him getting back up is my survival. So while we down, what I need to do? Oh, you need me to go get a part time job? Oh, you, you, you need me? What, what I need to do? I need to give you more time so you can go get another job. How, I need to cut back on date night so we can make sure we save this money to get to where we need to get. What it needs to happen to get us back up there. That's a woman that loves you. A woman that's doing a survival. When you going to get it done? You're going to have to figure it out. Oh, you can't figure it out? I'm gone. Holler at me when you back up. There's a difference. So like she said, she can show wifey, she can show wifey characteristics, but only based on the ups and downs, on the survival piece of it. The love part has to come in. Let's keep going. Baby daddy, 
And we don't talk about this shit because it's embarrassing and it hurts. It fucking hurts. And I'm mad with me. I'm not mad at men. I'm not mad at I'm not mad at my life. I'm I'm, I'm mad at me. So this is what she's stemming off the 90 days she already had a baby father. That means this man was up, up, and she wanted to hit herself thinking that this is going to be her 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 uh, her retirement plan. You feel what I'm saying? But the problem is he, he rooted out that you don't love me, you're here for survival, because, again, those ups and downs. Guarantee they broke up when he went down. 90 days, you got pregnant? That's craziness. You don't know nobody in 90 days like that. You're in the honeymoon phase in 90 days. A lot of you women do that. A lot of you women get pregnant fast. I don't think you should get I personally believe in the old school way of getting pregnant. Even though I had my, a lot of my babies out of wedlock. I had a couple babies out of wedlock, one in wedlock, or one within wedlock, and it's a huge difference. You know what I mean? But honestly, the, even the, the other two that was outside of, the, outside of the marriage, those two are still in the confines of, you know what I mean, the marriage and everything. So their lives are different. They look at life as differently. They, don't, they look at it. They only, they only know a two-parent household. They know nothing else. You see what I'm saying? So... When you, when you are, when you invest into someone, when a man invests in you to the point he wants to marry you, a man that you seen has the ability to carry you through the ups and downs. When you invest into that man, oh my God, you wouldn't be on the video like this. Not like this, you wouldn't. But let's continue. I don't know how to fix me. I don't know how to fix it. That's, that's accountability. <laughs> That's the shit that hurts. It's realizing that, hey, I got some shit with me that I don't know how to fucking fix. And in turn, because I don't know how to fix that shit, I'm fucking up other people around me. That's accountability. That's the shit that we don't put on social media. That's accountability. All she's talking about is accountability. A lot of people don't have it. A lot of people like to make excuses. A lot of people like to say things. It's, it's just kind of crazy to me. But that's called accountability. And she has it. And she's explaining to y'all. She's trying to talk to you young ladies like, hey, don't be me. You hear all these chicks telling you, oh, don't put your faith in a man. Don't do this with a man. And da, 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 da. And then next thing you know. You end up like that, destitute, broken, heartbroken, looking back like, how could you make a change? What can you do to go forward? Now, I don't know what her mentality is going to be going forward, but that was a weak moment for her. That was a truthful moment. I don't even want to call it weak. That was a strong, to be able to hold yourself accountable, cry, and, and, and explain what you did wrong. I don't even want to call that weak. That was a vulnerable moment for her. That was a strong moment for her, and she took the accountability she needed to take, and she straight up said, "This is what it is." So, to not only to the to the women her age, this is to the younger women too. Take the accountability, fellas. You need to listen to these kind of women too. You need to listen to these kind of not all y'all listen to these fresh and fit women who say this stupid ass, goofy ass shit, and then when reality hit their asses in the ass, they're like, "Holy fuck, I'm fucked." Most of those chicks that y'all see on those podcasts, them young chicks that say men got to have this, men got to have that, they're going to be just like this in a few years. Give them five to seven years, they're going to be just like that. They may not do it on camera, but they're going to be just like that. The odds are not in their favor to make out like bandits. It don't work that way. So y'all let me know what y'all think, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think. I appreciate y'all tuning in. Make sure y'all drop a comment. Make sure y'all tweet me. Make sure y'all um, hit me up on all social platforms at HVO Marvin. Make sure you stream my latest song, sex tape, fire shit, all that kind of stuff, man. I thank y'all for appreciating y'all for tuning in. It's the PPM Podcast. I'm out of here. Peace.